Hey everyone, welcome to Database Town. Today, we'll discuss the graph databases, a powerful tool that help us to understand how we handle complex relationships in data. Let's get started. What is graph database? It's a type of database designed to store and manage data as a network of relationships. Unlike traditional relational databases with rows and tables, graph databases use nodes, edges, and properties. Nodes are like objects, such as people, places, or products. Edges are the connections between them, like friendship or purchased. And properties add details, like a person's name or an edge's strength. Let's see a simple example. Imagine Jacob and Bob are friends. In a graph database, Jacob and Bob are nodes, and their friendship is an edge. Add properties, like Jacob's age or how long they've been friends, and you've got a flexible, intuitive way to model real-world connections. Comparing table versus graph structure. Now, why not just use a relational database? Well, relational databases are great for structured data, like sales records, but they struggle with complex relationships. Joining tons of tables to map connections gets slow and messy. Graph databases, on the other hand, are built for this. They shine when relationships are the focus, not just the data points. How do graph databases work? Graph databases store these connections directly, so querying them is super fast. Popular ones, like Neo4j, use languages like Cypher to make this even easier. It's less about rigid schemas and more about fluid, real-time insights. Real-world examples. So, where do we see graph databases in action? Tons of places. Social networks, like LinkedIn, use them to suggest connections. Navigation apps, like Google Maps, find shortest paths between locations. They're huge in fraud detection, too, spotting weird patterns in transactions by linking suspicious accounts. Even recommendation engines, like what Netflix uses, rely on graphs to say, hey, you might like this movie. Pros and cons pros. They're fast, flexible, and perfect for relationship-heavy data. Cons. They're not ideal for simple tabular data. Stick to SQL for that, and they can take some learning. Thanks for watching the video. Hit like and subscribe if you like the video.